A recent agreement between the National Capital District Commission and Ascopina, the company engaged to buy, ask and sell buoy in plastic bags, is the new approach taken by NCDC in implementing the buoy ban in the city. With this partnership comes plans to shut down Ruburogo Market, the trading point for buoy vendors, since the ban came into effect. When announcing this to his people, their members said his people have been suffering for the last six months when the ban came into effect. He urged his people to cease from bringing buoy into the city until the 8th of this month, which is this coming Friday, when the old sailor will purchase the green nuts at the new venues. A painful one on the part of me and my president because you know you people cannot fetch the kind of money you want you used to uh, get from the sale of buoy. After the 1st of August, only people with licenses in NCD have to sell, anybody else will be taken away and locked up. He said vendors have abused the purpose of the Ruburogo market by allowing the trading of other illegal activities as well as controlling the market price of buoy. Venues selected for the company to be buying buoy of our people is Agaviru, where Honorable President is, and the next venue is going to be my place at Brown River. The man behind the Ben and City Governor Powers Parkop has acknowledged Bitelnat as the main source of income for many Papua New Guineans. However, has encouraged people to venture into other businesses. The, the boy band, it will still be there in the sense that those uh, middle nut that are not de husk, they are not coming in. One. Secondly, we have to prosecute the, the speeders, those who are just, you know, speed with impunity all over the place. Vendors in NCD are encouraged to seek trading license from NCD to buy from the supplier and resell. The supplier has agreed to purchase 2,000 bags of betel nut per purchase and is also ready to do business with 2,000 retailers in the city. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.